Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Horse Ranch Rags to Riches Edition. This is actually episode 4. If you haven't seen the previous parts, I recommend you check them out. But I mean, the challenge is self-explanatory. We're playing Rags to Riches, trying to build a huge ranch on this massive lot that we have. We started with zero simoleons, we're currently on about 2k. In the last episode, we adopted a new horse and I have renamed him. You guys left me so many good name suggestions. It was really hard to choose. I've gone with the top voted comment, which was from Sierra. And they said we should do a summer themed name since our other horse is called Firefly. And there were a bunch of name suggestions. I went with River. I feel like River is really, really cute. Our horse is happy now. So this is River. It's kind of weird changing his name after we've already played with him for a while, but we're gonna do it. And then if we have a baby foal, we have more suggestions for summer themed names. So I'm gonna pick one of those. And if you guys wanna leave even more suggestions in the comments for other summer themed names, please do and I will be picking them whenever we have new foals. Maybe once it's fall time, we'll move on to fall themed names. I don't know. Anyways, I still don't know if um, Firefly is pregnant or not. In the last episode, we encouraged her to breed with River, so she might be pregnant. Hopefully she is, and we, we're gonna have a full be born in this episode. But I want to do the community jobs. I completely forgot about those, so I really want to focus on doing those and making money that way in this episode. I feel like it's a good way to make money. And I also want to build at least some kind of little house. Like even if it's a tiny little hut, I feel like we should do it and we should stop sleeping out in the open. I also realized that our lot trades or challenge, which is the prairie grass one, it's not working. Not a single bit of prairie grass has grown here. It's clearly bugged. I googled it and some other people were able to replicate the bug and it has to do with collecting too much prairie grass, which I've definitely gotten a lot. So apparently it's not going to work for us in this series, which sucks, but it's fine. There's prairie grass in the world. How's Firefly doing? Really good. So let's just mount up straight away. Let's ride to the community board, which I might buy one and put it on our lot, depending how much it costs. I don't think we're gonna go to the Finchwick Fair, but the... where was it again? Oh yeah, over here. So if we come over here, we can check on the community jobs. Or do we even have to be here? I don't think we do. Okay, so these two give us the most money. I think we should do this one. I feel like Firefly has pretty good temperament skills, so we can go ahead and give horse riding lessons to adults. I guess we're gonna leave our other horse here while we go off and do this. We don't actually, yeah, we don't have to canter all the way over here. All right, they are off doing lessons. I guess we can speed through this. Okay, we made 285. No as good as I hoped, but not bad. Tara has finished giving horse riding lessons, which increased her horse riding skill and Firefly's temperament skill. And then, yeah, we got an extra tip. So 285, we are sitting on over 2K now, which is pretty good. Can you do the jobs at all hours or is it only like during the daytime? Yeah, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Same as the competitions. We need to share our a little sheep as well. Maybe we'll collect the wool sometime soon and then do some knitting or something. I do want to play with porridge as well. River is doing super well. Where did Firefly go? Yeah, they always go over here to eat. Oh yeah, well duh, because this is empty. So let's refill the feeder. They need to stop pooping everywhere. <laughs> Okay, let's do the little play. Yep, absolutely <laughs> adorable. Let's sell some of our frogs as well that I have been breeding. Oh, and I wanted to fertilize a couple plants. So let's do fertilize with outstanding quality manure and we'll do this one as well. And I guess we'll use the normal quality ones as well. She really has done nothing social for 24 hours. 
that's not great. I think I'm gonna put Tara to sleep and we'll continue in the morning. Maybe we'll figure out if Firefly is pregnant. If not, I'm gonna encourage them to breed again because I think selling their babies would be a good way to make money. Like obviously aging them up first and training them, but then selling them. We might even have a chance at keeping River instead of selling him. I don't know yet. Okay, it's the morning. Firefly needed some socializing, so we're just gonna talk to her for a little bit. Okay, that's better. Um, we need to get rid of this. I hate sleeping with the bugs, so when we do build a house in this episode, I need to get a bed. We can put this in our inventory and then if we wanna sleep by the caves or something, we can use it there. Porridge, oh my God, she's starving again. There's food right there, please go eat it. Other than that, she's fine. I think once she eats, she won't be unhappy anymore. Okay, is she going? Okay, fine, she's eating. Oh, okay, so I saw this in someone else's video. If you hover over the horse in your friendship panel, whatever it's called, you can see how many days till they age up. So it's 194 for Firefly and 197 for River. That's so many days. I'm very happy about that. Okay, so my plan for this day, at least the morning, I'm gonna leave River here to practice on his own. <laughs> I wanna take Firefly on another community job. She's refusing to play. I still can't tell if she's pregnant or not. But let me go to another community job. Ooh, there's even more now. So we have Teach Barrel Racing and Teach Western Pleasure. We're doing the Western Pleasure one. Let's take our horse with us and go do that. Okay, we're back. Another 285. I think that's what we got last time. I think I'm gonna encourage them to breed again because I'm not seeing anything that would indicate that Firefly is pregnant. So, uh, did that work? Okay, let's try that again. Okay, we got a thumbs up. We're gonna <laughs> interrupt her eating. Sorry about that. Super cute. Okay, we'll see if that one finally worked. Oh my god, the skill is going up so fast from just interacting with the horse. So she now has temperament level four. She's less likely to buck when being ridden. She's still refusing to play with the ball. I really don't get it. Your fun is very low. I'm about to breed the frogs again. And then let's go do our daily competitions. Okay, here we are. Should we try an intermediate one or should we just first get all the beginner ones done? You know, we haven't really gone just for a lot of rides, which is what increases their endurance skill. So Firefly currently only has two level two endurance. Also, the horse is in a negative mood, which slightly reduces the chance of winning. Not great. I might go with river first so we'll do the western pleasure let me change our horse okay so we did get bronze in the beginner category <laughs> and i don't think we're really ready for intermediate we'll try the barrel racing with him okay we got bronze again that's fine let's do one with firefly too I think we should do the endurance racing. It's the last one we haven't done in the beginner category. And we really need to train up her skills a bit more before we can enter the intermediate competition for any of the other ones. Yay! Okay, a silver medal. I am very happy with that. It's 6 p.m. Should we try to do a quick little community job still? I feel like we should. Let's do the barrel racing. We'll take Firefly again. And then we need to go to dinner. Maybe we'll invite a friend since we haven't done anything social in so long. Also, time to sell these. Make even more money. Like, look, we're at 3.5k now. I can definitely build a little house. Okay, we're back. We made a decent amount of money. I think I'm gonna send both the horses home. There we go. I'm gonna send them home. They can eat at our lot. And then we're gonna go and travel to somewhere with food. 
Should we go to a different world? Maybe we can come to Henford on Bagley. <laughs> Let's just go to the gnome's arms just to grab a little something to eat. I mean, we could grill somewhere. Oh my God, I was supposed to invite a friend. <laughs> oh wow, it's raining here. It's also guys night. That's unlucky. So they all have like good compatibility. Do we have amazing compatibility? Oh, with Roberto. <laughs> can you invite him? No, you can't. Dang. What about Don? Yes, okay, let's invite Don. Let's invite him to, oh my God, it's a thunderstorm. Okay, Don is here. We're inside, we're okay. Let's uh, get some food. We can afford to spend a tiny bit of money. Let's just get the aubergine parmesan <laughs> dish. Whatever that is, it sounds good. I don't eat meat, so I don't really okay. have my sins eat meat that often either. Oh yeah, we need to get red meat from somewhere, buy groceries from somewhere so that we can take that to the caves. That's it, that looks so weird. It looks kind of like lasagna. Let's say hi to Dawn. Wait, there's a fridge here. Let's talk about the temperature. What, there's a fridge and an oven? Is that an oven? What the heck? I could have just cooked food. <laughs> hi Dawn, how are you doing? Let's support his facial hair again because we love his stash. How old is he? Yeah, he's an elder, that's what I thought. He keeps calling me saying that he wants to date all these people. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh my God, the lightning. Oh, is he leaving? He is leaving. Well, it is in the middle of the night. We did actually eat our food last episode. We were having some problems with that, but this time we're eating. Who is here? A couple of people. Should we go introduce ourselves? A little howdy introduction. Oh my god, this bartender? Okay, let's just finish our food and go home to sleep. Should we buy a bed? I think we should buy a bed. A bed. We need to get out of here. <laughs> it's jump scaring me every single time. Like imagine the thunderstorm was here and we have to sleep on the ground. Absolutely not. So let's build a little house. We are in the tiny home residential lot so we can only use 30 tiles. I mean, we could just build a house around this technically. We have 3.8K so, uh, okay, let me turn move objects on. There we go. So. I was thinking of doing a house about this size. And then we have like a little porch maybe. I mean, it's tiny. Is there any way to make it cuter? I do not know. Um, The nectar maker doesn't need to be in the house, but it can be. We got our fridge and then <laughs> our bathroom. Oh my gosh, not everything in the same tiny room. And then we need a bed. What is the cheapest bed? 210 for that one but this one is from the pack and it's only a little bit more i'm gonna get this one and it has a little bit better energy and stress relief and discomfort relief oh my god we can't sleep right next to our toilet where are we gonna sleep i guess we'll do it here can we do like a little wall there okay i feel better about that tara's favorite colors are yellow orange blue and green i think this one is really cute i do obviously want wallpaper let's get horse ranch wallpaper there's a bunch of new nice ones should we do that for the inside and then the outside should we make it red or something i need to put a roof on <laughs> don't mind me we could also do yellow i kind of love the yellow maybe okay let me put a roof on this place maybe like this and then we can do the columns okay <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing i don't build tiny houses i don't build much anyway but i don't know the last time i built a teeny tiny house obviously it's not supposed to be that pretty it's just supposed to give us a roof over our heads or head singular <laughs> I don't really want the horses coming inside, so I might lock the door. <gasps> Wait, we need windows and a door. <gasps> that door is so cute. Okay, where can we place it? The middle is fine. Cute. Let me get some windows or maybe like one window. Oh, these are the new windows. So let's put a couple of these in. 
like that. Very cute. They don't cost that much money. Uh, shall we do one in the bathroom? <laughs> and then a lamp. I want a lamp. Obviously we could do a ceiling lamp, but I feel like maybe we should do some mood lighting with one of these little ones or like a standing lamp. Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, no, these cost too much money and they barely give any light. Also where? There's no space for one. That would have been cute, but let's just do one of these. You know, oh, I can actually see. Also, can we buy the nectar rack? Maybe we should get that now. So it's 300, we can put it next to our fridge right here. Cute. Let's get a yellow one. Okay, you know, this is not too bad. I could afford to buy like a stove or something maybe to cook. The house needs to stay tiny though. But at least we have somewhere to sleep now. So this is our little house from the outside. The back looks so bare. Am I gonna waste money on <laughs> like foliage or something to put back here? Yes, I am. A little flower pot here by the door. Heck yeah. Okay, I'm wasting money, I know. Let's build a little roof over the horse beds as well. I mean, we might as well get a third one since we're planning on breeding more horses. Look how small our house is on this huge lot. How much money do we need to make before we can like delete this and then build like an actual house? I don't think it will be a tiny home anymore. How long should we try and keep the tiny home thing going? Also, how much is fencing? Because I love the new fence. 25. How much would it be to do it all around this? 900. No. Okay, do we need more support beams? <laughs> Maybe like that. And then a roof over this shouldn't be too hard. Let me just place that there so that we can actually build a roof. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, let's do the same roofing and stuff. Oh my God, I love that. That's so cute. Obviously I would wanna do the fencing and all of that. Make little gates for them. But we'll do that once we can afford it. Cute. How much to do a foundation? Oh, I guess you only have to pay for the stairs. Although, can't they walk up just one tile? I feel like they can. There is new foundation in this pack. It's this one. So yeah, I think that's cute. Okay, we have 1K left. What do we need to buy next? Should we move our mailbox over here as well? There we go. I think I'll put some prairie grass on our lot so the horses don't need to run all the way over there to eat. And also, we were supposed to have spreading prairie grass anyway, so I might as well put some here. They were only five simoleons each. And then let's just buy the water trough. I think that's how you pronounce it. You guys corrected me in the comments. English is not my first language and I did not know how to say that. But yeah, I think it's a water trough. So we'll put that here. I don't think it's necessary. They don't even have a thirst like need, but sure. Okay, I have to buy some toilet roll. I'm still considering a stove and a counter maybe if we move our nectar maker outside. But yeah, comment down below, what should we get? It's actually nighttime. <laughs> that lighting was confusing me, but yeah, let's go to sleep. And then the horses can go sleep in their new little stall as well. Didn't I put a roof trim on that? Well, I did now. Oh, they're also going to eat. Very cute. Can they eat at the same time? I have actually not seen that before. That's so cool. <gasps> they're sleeping in there. Porridge is sleeping out here. And we're sleeping in our actual bed. Okay, we're up taking care of our needs. I was gonna say, these must have grown by now. And yeah. <gasps> oh my god, we can collect some. Okay, okay, we're definitely gonna collect them because we can finally make nectar. No freaking way. Did you not get pregnant from all of that? How? <gasps> oh my god, I was gonna encourage them to breed again. And look! It says Firefly is already pregnant. Oh my God. Okay, I can't tell. She's not big yet. But yeah, let's come over here and harvest our grapes. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Let's them harvest all, I think. We even have the plantains. And then, okay, our cherries. Oh, 
This one has cherries. Wait, they both have, okay. We're gonna sell some stuff as well that we don't really need for the nectar. But yeah, we can finally get started on that skill, which is very exciting. And some of these grapes should be like perfect quality. Yeah, quality perfect. Should we sell the grapes that aren't perfect? Maybe. So, 48 plantains, oh my gosh. That makes 144. I don't think we need any plantains right now. I know you can make fruit nectar later. Oh my God, the cherries make a lot. I, should we like plant another tree maybe? Okay, I'll plant two more perfect cherry trees and sell the rest of them. I don't need any more roses. I don't know about the spinach, we'll keep that for now. And then the grapes. Okay, we should definitely plant more perfect grapes, right? Okay, it seems that we only had three perfect grapes and I'm just gonna replant them. That means we're not gonna make nectar from perfect grapes right now, but that's totally fine. So let's then come over here and let's make some grape nectar. Are you, no, you're not stuck in there, good. Okay, there she goes. This is gonna be our first bottle of nectar ever. I'm pretty sure she was supposed to take her shoes off and she ended up putting CC shoes on. <laughs> That is not hygienic. Um, okay. Well, we're just gonna ignore that. This thing happens with custom content. Sometimes they even take showers and end up putting like custom content clothes on while they're in the shower. It's really funny. Yay, we acquired the nectar making skill. And we can now make, make and bottle grape and apple nectar. Wait, don't we have apple trees? I don't think we do yet, but Here's our first bottle, very cool. Let's see what quality it is. It might be poor quality. And we also learned about it. Oh yeah, these ones we found in the bushes. <laughs> Who's stashing their nectar in the bushes, honestly? So the grape nectar makes Sims feel confident, but we're obviously going to age it. So let's see the quality. Normal, okay, perfect. I'm going to put it in there. You can see it down there. We could make another one. I kind of want to make my horses train though while we do that. Okay, I think we're telling them to do some training while we do some nectar making. Let's do another bottle. Hopefully they can train for a while. I like that you can just leave them to it and do your own thing. It's less time consuming. Can you tell that she's pregnant yet? I don't think you can. I have seen a horse pregnant before and their belly gets really big. Who's that running to our house? No, not our bills. 128 simoleons, that is not much. Oh yeah, we should do auto lights, right? All lights so that we're not using electricity when we're not in our house. Endeavor is done and Firefly just knocked over the beam. Well, at least they did a little bit. We have just made our second bottle, perfect. It's another normal quality. So if you leave them in there, they will age. I'm just gonna harvest some of this prairie grass and then go and plant these. Um, Unknown caller, <laughs> the number six will be very important to you in the next 24 hours. Wait, who is this? Oh my god, who is this lady who just pranked us? Brittani, Brittani, how do you say that? What are you doing? You're a celebrity. <laughs> okay, let's go do competitions. Oh no, let's first cheer up Firefly. She's so sad. Oh, and let's pay our bills. Okay, good. Now we can go do the competitions, except we're angry from being pranked and our needs aren't great. Okay, we'll do a really quick bath. Oh my god, and we need to, okay, 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 we need to take care of porridge. Oh, I don't think we've really seen this outfit yet since the very first episode. Okay, okay, we're going, we're going before it hits 7 p.m. Oh, we've also got a lifestyle in progress. Yes, outdoorsy, I thought we might get this one. So eventually we'll become an outdoorsy sim. <laughs> Look at her lot now, it looks funny. Okay, let's go here and then we'll do the competitions. I haven't trained them much since yesterday though, so I don't know if I can risk doing an intermediate competition. I also wanted to go here and try and buy the red meat because we do have this little grocery shop in town. 
and it's very cute. Also, we could buy a goat. Yeah, why not? Okay, apples. I think we can afford to buy a couple apples now to plant them. Here we go. Milk cheese. Where is red meat? Here we go. 20. That's fine. So we're gonna buy those and then I'll also get a mini goat. Okay, so for the goats, these are 150. Are they all 150? Okay, how come the sheep are such different prizes? I guess because you can share them for the colored wool. Oh, this one's so pretty. I want to get this one and call it cinnamon. I think we might do just that. Yay, it's in our inventory. Okay, let's go race. I'm just going to do some of the repeat compositions to make sure we win and don't lose out on money. Also, we have just unlocked a hidden lifestyle, which is single and loving it. <laughs> These Sims happily enjoy the single life and savor their independence. I think in Rags to Riches, you are supposed to eventually have a family, but currently she's not really dating anyone. She's not really interested in a relationship. Maybe we'll end up having a relationship with like our best friend and then it develops into like a romance i don't know but if we do end up getting this we will be tense when in a new committed relationship oh my god we would have increased skill gain in all skills when single that's funny anyway so let's see where we placed okay silver perfect and then we'll do one with firefly oh my god Sienna's just cleaning River's hooves just right in front of us. That's funny. Where the heck? Okay, okay, Firefly is coming. Our mood is pretty bad. Oh, okay. No eligible horses are present. The horse must be in the area and cannot be a foal or pregnant. Oh, okay. We can't actually take Firefly for a competition because she's pregnant. Oh, wait. Is she looking kind of big? Oh. I feel like she's definitely looking bigger. Okay, we'll send Firefly home so she can chill there. And I do want to go for a ride because, come on, we never go for rides. And that will help level up his endurance skill. Okay, where's our attack? There it is, a little bit slow. So let's go for, let's just do an intense ride for a little bit um, before we pass out, basically. I love the hooves on this floor oh, we're gonna catch up to firefly bye horsey wow we leveled up oh where are you running through oh my gosh she's gaining confidence in her riding abilities which will affect her mood when riding just listen to this sound love it all right i think we'll go home also, I'm buying us a shower. This tub takes like three hours to get your hygiene up. So yeah, we could get, yeah, let's get the new shower from this pack. Let's get like a yellowy swatch. Ooh, that's cute. All right, I'm gonna take care of her needs, etc., and then we'll be back. Oh my God, thanks to the bed. We also have somewhere to sit now. Love that and love her new shower. Get in there. Oh my God, I almost forgot about our goat. <laughs> I actually did forget about our goat. Okay, let's place. Oh my god, our new little goat. So, so pretty. Ready for milking. Hello. You are adorable. Let's um, name you. And I wanted to go with cinnamon, not Godzilla. We're gonna go with cinnamon. We have like a porridge theme now. <laughs> it was supposed to be a food theme. I might as well call the next one sugar. Also, let's sell some of our stuff. Yeah, she's definitely looking bigger. So I'm gonna play until the horse is born. This is gonna be a little bit of a longer episode. Well, I meant to say the fool is born. So I'm just gonna put Tara to sleep and we'll see. I don't think it takes that long, but I wasn't playing on long lifespan before. <gasps> now she's looking massive. I swear, just a second ago, she did not look that big. How come you're sleeping there and not there? Okay, we're up. Okay, we're just living the ranch life, taking care of all the chores around here. We have a little cinnamon here now. Is that porridge over there? Yeah, porridge is over here. I think I'm gonna go for another ride with River. He needs to play with this ball though. And then any minute now, I feel like she's gonna pop. <laughs> we're gonna get our little baby. The 
fact that they're defiant, they really don't want to do what I tell them to do. Are you finally going to play? He's just kind of like looking at it. You don't want to do it, huh? Okay, let's go for an intense ride. That should level up our skills faster. Plus, we're on our lot, so we should have double skill gain from that. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, let's um try that again. Okay, here we are. Intense ride, please. Okay, good. I can't believe we're already level six in horse riding. That's so good. Yeah, horse riding level six, gardening almost level four as well. And River now has endurance level two. There's another horse up here. Who are you? Is that Nina? She, um, she has a stunning horse who I cannot see the name of. Very cool. I love going on these rides. The neighborhoods are just so pretty and you're going so fast. Oh, we're back at our house. Okay, cool. Maybe we'll do a bit of jumping. Why not? I swear she's just getting bigger and bigger. Look at this horse. Oh, I'm so excited. We should stay on the lot though until she gives birth. I definitely don't want to miss it. I don't know if they can give birth though while you're not on the lot. But we're gonna do some intense training over here. Apparently it's River's time to shine now that Firefly is pregnant. I wonder how much he's worth now if we open the profile. 825, so almost 600 more than when we bought him. Oh my god, every time I try to mount the horse, they glitch out. Look at this. Oh, yep, yeah, what the heck? Okay, well let's try that over here. Oh, could it be that he's already wearing the tack or something? <gasps> but we are very happy from riding a horse around the world. A beautiful ride across the landscape is just what Tara needed. Can we now? What the heck is going on? I guess we'll do some more riding later. <laughs> okay, we did some gardening, so let's make some more money. We have some more perfect grapes, but I think... We should just make some more nectar. Oh my god, we just made an extra bottle of nectar. That's really cool. Yay, we're oh, level oh. two. We just started and we're already level two. Thank you, tiny home. We can now make potato nectar and strawberry nectar. We don't have either of those ingredients though. But I think we could afford to buy them now. <gasps> we made excellent quality grape nectar. It's worth currently 173. I can't wait to see how much it's worth once it's finely aged. Here's our first little milking of cinnamon. Cute, we're doing it for simoleons. Oh my god, gone into labor. Firefly is bursting with anticipation to meet her fall. Oh my god, I'm not ready. I'm not ready, okay. This is where the episode is gonna end once we have our little baby. It's 9 p.m. Oh, okay. I feel like we should be there for her. We're just making nectar. <laughs> Can you like calm her or something? Yeah, soothe horse in labor. Let's go do that. We can continue our nectar later. Okay, I think we're just talking to her. Oh my god. Look at this little icon. The baby is on its way. Look at our friendship bar as well. We are absolute besties. I love Firefly. Is the baby coming? Is the baby coming? How long does labor take? Okay, that's not the baby. River, you're about to have a child too. <laughs> you're gonna be a dad. <gasps> okay, here we go. It's time. I love the little music. Oh my God. Let's see. I wonder if it's gonna look like River or like Firefly. I've only bred one foal in early access, so I don't know if it can be like a mixture of the two. <gasps> a foal is born! Okay, Firefly just gave birth to a foal. What would you like to call him? Okay, let's pick one of those names. I can't see what it looks like though. I usually base the names off of what they look like, but it looks to be another stallion. I want to go with Sunny, but then if it's a black horse, that doesn't sound sunny to me, so let's go with Dusty. That was one of the suggestions, so if you guys have more suggestions, let me know. And let's see our new foal. Oh my gosh, okay. 
So, breedable traits. Congratulations on the birth of your new bull. Dusty has gained the unique breedable trait, playful. I don't think that was one you can choose. Let's open the sim profile. Yeah, look. Oh, traits. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> Wait, the values already have 1000. That's amazing. So we have defiant, fearful and independent. Really, it already has all its traits. Are these the same ones as Firefly? And then, Playful! These horses love playing with toys and other sims. I can't believe it. Look. Oh my god. Oh, Firefly, you're such a good mother. Let's go tell Dusty a little joke. Hello. Oh, you are so cute. Do you know how to walk yet? Maybe we can bottle feed him. Hi. Q and he can already gain skills and we just became friends. Oh my god, look. Yeah, he looks exactly like his dad. Is it exact? Do they have the exact same pattern? I feel like they do. Okay, well, we have a new member of our family, a little Dusty here. I'm gonna leave the episode here. We'll continue in the next one. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave name suggestions in the comments or if you have any ideas what we should do next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!